Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Mike Lehman. I run uh, product management for what's called Cloud Application Foundation. That's uh, WebLogic Server, uh, Coherence, and Java EE. And I'm joined here today by uh, Francois from Jamalto. Hello, and, Mike. <laughs> hello. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, your deployment of WebLogic Server and, and what you're doing with it. So I'm working on the Telecom BU. So I'm part of the RDD team. Okay. And we are uh, we are developing a software solution to promote our smart card inside the mobile phone. Oh, okay. So I'm an architect, and uh, so we are try we try to to design our solution for our customer, which is uh, which are the the, uh, the telcos. Okay. And I know uh, you work quite a bit with uh, um, the WebLogic engineering team. Yes. Uh, various features and requests that Gemalto has because you guys are using the product very heavily. Um, maybe you could describe what uh, versions you're using and uh, a bit about uh, um, what you have deployed on them. So Okay, so we are using 11G version. So we are currently um, on, on the field we have uh, the 10.3.1 version, 10.3.2 and 10.3.4 ah, okay. actually. So we have several uh, several uh, versions of uh, WebLogic on the field, and uh, mainly we are we, we we deploy our solution product and tech service. We uh, we we are uh, developing and, and productizing. Okay, and and the the application. So now you're in the this this unit. You're building the applications. Are they, you know? primarily web-based? Are they business logic? Are they messaging? Um, can you describe a bit about the, the architecture that you have? I know Ev I'm trying to simplify it, but... Uh, Ev everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. We, we, we have a web interface, so we are, we are web-based for sure. We, are, we, are, we have a business logic also because we are using a lot of GB. Okay. Okay, and GMS stuff with MDB and GMS. Um, Okay. Standard GMS and also web services oh, and okay. uh, AWS security also. Uh, okay, so really the across the gamut of the, yeah, of yeah. the product. Are you um, are you running any other uh, Oracle products on WebLogic Server, or is it really um, a quote unquote naked EE application? On no, it's that? it's you are right. It's a quite a Java EE standard Java EE application. Uh, right. Okay. And Jamalto's a a long time user of WebLogic Server, but uh, when you actually made the choice, could you describe sort of what what led you down the path of getting to WebLogic Server? Yeah, in fact, there, there is two sides. There is a financial side and also a technical side. So mainly the, the, the reason for financial is the cost, because we have chosen to to uh, to use uh, WebLogic with an embedded, an embedded license. Uh, okay. So it's the cost p uh, part. And for a technical reason, mainly it's for uh, HA and uh, particular the odd patchability uh, inside WebLogic. Uh, okay, so when you um, so the embedded licensing is like you say, it sort of gets it gives you a lower cost because yeah. you embedded it's sort of hidden inside the application, so to speak. Um, the hot patching is an interesting one. So um, when you say hot patching, is the idea that you uh, can do sort of across uh, in a cluster, or tell us a bit about the hot patching? In fact, this is the original choice. So okay. we, 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 have, we have chosen uh, WebLogic for, for this kind of feature because we have some requests of our customer which require a, a high HA uh, contract, meaning 5.9. Which is quite huge. Yes, that's huge. For, for, so it's very important for us to have, a, you know, an already available uh, solution. We have some maintenance window, which allows you, us to, to, to deploy the new version of our application. Uh, okay. So, so the, it's, the, it's the, a new version of yeah. the application that you're rolling out. Meaning that the fine, uh, the the, the five nine is applicable only on <coughs> production uh, time frame, not on uh, release or uh, maintenance re maintenance Got time it. frame. Got it. Okay. Interesting. So, as you mentioned, we're here uh, here in the Netherlands uh, this week talking with the customer advisory board and uh, obviously giving you a bit of a roadmap and uh, hearing from our customers how they're using the product. Um, you know, as you guys move forward at Jamalto, uh, um, I'm curious what some of your plans are. Are you uh, what What are the areas that you're investing in? Is it you know, be it virtualization, be it cloud, be it 
you know, manageability, et cetera, what are some of the things that you're... Yeah. So one, one of our big, big focus actually is uh, regarding multi-tenant. Ah, okay. The way to, to, to have uh, some solution that, uh, that we can mutualize in order to, to have a lower cost. So it's, ve it's a, um, a very important topic um, on the telecom BU R&D to, to have some uh, quite nice solution provided by WebLogic regarding the multi-tenant aspect. And, it's, and the reason that you're looking for multi-tenancy is to have more density? What's the, and obviously it has isolation between the tenants, but there's an end goal that presumably you're working towards. Yeah, exactly. W working towards having the same uh, uh, hardware cost but serving multi-tenants, yeah. uh, that, but also to have some requirements regarding um, SLA contract. And when you uh, look at manageability, how um, obviously as an embedded product, you're, you're trying to, everything has to be automated in order to make this, you know, work in a clean way. Um, are you using some of the tools of WebLogic to do that, like WST, or how are how are you managing the environment? Because it's it's a tricky proposition with yeah. an embedded product. Yeah, exactly. So in fact, we are using a lot, quite a lot, uh, WLST for sure, and we have uh, we are using a lot of also all the feature exposed through GMX uh, okay. technology. So we are <laughs> a consumer of GMX technology in order to to have. Uh, monitoring of our solution and to provide feedback and, and uh, report for uh, SLA contract with, with uh, our customer. So yeah, it's, it's uh, an important part to, 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 to use uh, GMX. Okay, so uh, Francois, one thing we were chatting about in the uh, ahead of this was your usage of WebLogic Server with uh, Oracle Rack, and uh, I'd be interested in hearing sort of what Jamalto is doing with uh, WebLogic and Rack. Yeah, we have some um, big constraints regarding the HA, uh, regarding our customers, so we need to provide a, a, a whole solution which is uh, high available, so for sure we are using Oracle Rack for, for this purpose. And uh, on the WebLogic side, we side we are using uh, multi data source for that. And uh, during the cab, we have a presentation of uh, actually active grinding, and we are very interesting in this feature. So it's a good point and a good interest for for this cab session. And then uh, I know during the um, session that uh, you were asking about Java E6, and obviously we put out uh, WebLogic Server 12C recently with Java E6 support. Is is that also on your roadmap as well? Yes. In fact, we are we are we have an internal debate on uh, what the future uh, release we we will use for this year. Mm -hmm. So we have some debate uh, between uh, 10.3.6 and 12C. Ah, okay. So on, on the um, you know on the development side, they, they push a lot for Java E6 uh, features for yeah. sure. But uh, you know we have also some organizational and and uh, financial impact that 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 that, that is uh, driving us. Yeah. So actually, may, uh, the tendency is to go to 10.3.6. Then three six yeah. yeah it's a very classical trade off yeah. of I want the new stuff but uh, it's easier to stay with the current release yeah. so it's always a challenge um, and certainly we see it with a lot of other customers um, well I think uh, uh, that's great I really appreciate you taking the time uh, Francois to give us a bit of an overview of how we're using WebLogic Server and. Uh, I, I'll be interested to talk to you maybe in six months from now once that, that decision has been broached and uh, we'll see whether you went to 12C or 10.3.6. Who, will the developers win or will uh, <laughs> operations win, which is often the, the battleground. So okay. thank you very much. Okay, thank you too.